Hi there everyone and thank you for joining us today. Today I want to focus on the negative exponent rule where we have a to the power negative n and we need to write this as a positive exponent. How do we do that? We do that by writing it as 1 over a to the power n. So if I look at the next example I have 2 to the power negative 2 and how do I write that positively? I write that positively by saying it's 1 over 2 to the power 2. And what is 1 over 2 to the power 2? Do you know? 1 over 2 to the power 2 is the same thing as 1 over 4. Right. Let's look at the next one. 3 to the power negative 2. 3 to the power negative 2 is the same thing as 1 over 9. Um we would have first written it as 1 over 3 to the power 2 and then it would have become 1 over 9 but let's look at this one m in x to the power negative 1 m has the invisible power of 1 and n has the invisible power of 1 but x is to the power negative 1 that's x the variable of x is the only one with a negative exponent. So the x will be written as a denominator to make that negative 1 a positive 1. Let's look at another example. Now these examples are slightly more complex than the ones we've done before. Let's see how far we get. We've got, we have 2 x to the power negative 1 over 2 times x to the power negative 1. Okay, what, what do we need to do? This is our distributive law. We've got to share the negative 1 into the brackets. So that will give us 2 to the power negative 1, x to the power negative 1. Where did we get that from? We got it from the outside. That power negative 1 there, we had to share to the 2 and we had to share it with the x as well. And what do we do now? We can see that we are dividing, and when we divide, what do we do to the exponents? We subtract. So, that is power 1, okay? It has its own power of 1. So, we're going to say minus 1, minus 1. And what are we going to do here? That's x to the power negative 1. That's x to the power negative 1. We can then say minus 1, minus, minus 1. What does that give us? It gives us... 2 to the power minus 2 and x to the power negative 1 plus 1. Okay, so simplify further, that gives us 2 to the power negative 2, x to the power 0, which is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the power 2 or a quarter. Let's look at another example. Now you should be able to see that these examples are becoming more and more complex. But that's absolutely fine. As long as we follow our basic principles, we shouldn't have a problem. So we have 2a to the power negative a half divided by 4a to the power a half. Now I find it a little bit easier to write it with a dividing line. So it's 2a to the power negative a half over 4a to the power a half. So it's fairly straightforward to see that even with that, when we did division previously, our law 2, if we go back, it's 2 over 4, which we need to simplify. Okay, our numbers, we always simplify. 2 over 4 is the same thing as 1 over 2, because 2 divides into itself once, 2 divides into 4 twice. And we have a to the power negative half, negative a half, which we take from there, and there's a half again. What do we do? We subtract negative a half minus that half. What does that give me? It gives me a half a to the power negative one. Okay, but we need to make sure that that's written as a positive exponent. And how do we do that? We do that by writing it as a denominator. So we take it down to the bottom again, just like our law states that we must do. Let's look at our third example. We have 2 to the power 0 times 2 to the power negative 1 
times 2 to the power negative a half divided by 2 to the power negative 3 over 2 times 2 to the power minus 2. Okay, so a couple of laws come into play. The first law says that when we are multiplying and the bases are the same, we need to simplify by adding the exponents. And then there's another law that says that when we are dividing, we need to subtract the exponent. So let's have a look. What do you see here? You see multiply and multiply, which means we need to simplify. Okay, how do we simplify? By adding the exponents. So we're going to say naught plus minus 1, which will give us minus 1, plus minus a half, which will just give us minus a half. And then we've got 2 to the power minus 3 over 2, and we have to add that. So it's plus minus 2. And don't forget, if I say plus minus 2, I have to say a positive times a negative, and that just gives me minus 2. That's where our numbers are coming from. So we've got 2 to the power negative 3 over 2 minus 2, and what we're going to do is simplify the top. Minus 1 minus a half is minus 1 and a half. 2 to the power, so that's negative 1 and a half minus 2 is negative 3 and a half. What does that give me? Now that we've simplified, we can subtract. So it's 2 to the power negative 1 and a half minus minus 3 and a half. Let me just write that down for you over here. Minus 1 and a half minus minus 3 and a half. Can you see how that becomes plus? Because a negative times a negative is a positive. So that's negative 1 and a half plus 3 and a half. What does that give me? It gives me 2 to the power 2, and 2 to the power 2 is 4. Now let's look at this example, number 4. We have 2, in brackets, we have 2a to the power negative 2 over 2a to the power minus 2, okay? It sounds the same, but you'll see the numerator has a bracket, so we need to distribute. So we have 2 to the power negative 2 over, or sorry, 2 to the power negative 2 times a to the power negative 2, and the bottom, the denominator doesn't change, um, that is an invisible power 1, and what we can say here, we've got a minus 2 and we've got 2 to the power 1, when the exponents are exactly the same, they can actually cancel each other out. Um, we don't need to go through the process of subtracting them because it will give you, just to prove to you, a to the power minus 2 minus minus 2 and that will give me a to the power minus 2 plus 2 which is equal to a to the power 0 which is 1 okay and you know that anything divided by itself if I say a to the power negative 2 divided by a to the power negative 2 the answer is also 1 so we can cancel them out if the powers are exactly the same okay what are we left with? We're left with 2 to the power minus 2 minus 1, and that gives me 2 to the power negative 3. Again, we aren't allowed to leave it that way. We need to change it into a positive exponent, so that's 1 over 2 to the power 3, which is the same thing as 1 over 8. Let's look at our final example. We have a over b to the power negative 1 times b over a squared. Okay, so we need to distribute. That will be a to the power negative 1, b to the power negative 1 times, and we distribute again the 2, we distribute into the brackets, so it will be b squared over a squared. And what do we need to do now? We have a to the power negative 1, b to the power negative 1. We could have done this one of two ways. We could have used the method that we used here where we swapped it around. You must remember, guys, if it's negative at the bottom, you take it to the top. If it's negative on top, you take it to the bottom. So we could have used either method, right? I'll show you the other method now. Um, what we did, the first method was the swap method. And then we said, okay, well, let's take the B up. Let's take the A down to the denominator. And we said B times b squared is b cubed, a times a squared is a cubed, which is your final answer. We could also have said, 
let's simplify. And if we simplify this year, we have a to the power negative 1 b squared over b to the power negative 1 a squared. And what should we do? We are dividing. And the division law for exponents says that when we are dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. So that would have given me a to the power negative 1 minus 2 and b to the power 2 minus minus 1. That would have given me a to the power negative 3, b to the power 3. And what do we need to do? We need to sort out the negative. We cannot write it as a numerator because it's negative. So we need to write it as a denominator. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this made this section a little bit clearer to you. I hope to see you next time.